This episode was pretty much it's a die-hard chapter. And even though we got postponed last week, and I'm coming again late with this video, like I said, I suck when it comes to certain timings. And I'm also a bit lazy. This is Sullivan Allen's game on the new I'm not to Sabun episode 370, Sasuke's answer. You get the fuck the end of the battle at Chirama and Madara uh, done with their fighting. Being Madara uh, on, on top while Hashirama's on the ground, like heavy breathing. It looks like Madara's gonna need to finish, the fi finish this final blow. No, but then you get, uh, but it turns out it's just a wood clone. Hashirama comes back from behind, stabs him with a sword. Or so. That's it. Uh, but then, but that's the end of that. Uh, he says that I will do anything I can to fulfill my dream. Uh, I will endure anything. Uh, whatever. If, there, if I will fight anyone to protect my, protect our, no, my village. It's whether they're friend, sibling, or my own child. Ashurama endured so. You know, wanted his dream. And with his best friend, and he got his dream, and he got his dream, but it all came apart because his best friend couldn't handle it. And remember, this was all about trust. Trust. And Hashirama trusted Madara, but Madara felt like he couldn't do the same thing. So, yeah. Uh, but, you know, we, we all know that Uchiha, when it comes to their shouting on, and it's their emotions and all the madness they endure. How the Mount Gekyo is always activated when someone when they lost the closest person closest to them is gone, and and the and the Sharingan is oh, it was awakened through intense emotion in battle, then reflects their feelings to what they want to protect, they want to fight. It's the same concept. As the battle and Sasura said he endured everything, but he also said because of what he did, and he made the village a place where pe children could f make peace. It also started another system of warfare. I mean, think of, about it. There were other wars after that. The first, uh, no, I mean, the first, third, second, and third great ninja wars. Wars. I mean, we all know about that. I mean, we all know about that. Uh, we've seen the third great ninja war with Nina Toe, but not the first and second. Uh, and then you have, uh, and then you have the others. Uh, you have the other Kage's there. I mean, but you, but the main focus is the. Leaf. I mean, Hashirama wanted, uh, had had inherited the will of, started the will of fire. He wanted to pass on his will of fire to the next generation. He wanted to protect this village and his dream. And then there was the second Hokage, Birama. He, he wanted to make sure. He want, even though he persecuted the Uchiha a lot, he still used them and to do their work. Like for example, even though the Uchiha were great friends, they were very dedicated and devoted to their to their progress in their work. Like, like and Sasuke, he realized this. Even though, no, he persecuted the he used them for the benefit of the village. For example, Uchiha Kaguya is a descent. is a descendant. Uchiha Kaguya descendant was Shusui, who was Itachi's friend. I don't think he was his, but even though. Even though Shu in the manga, I read the manga, Shushi was not his descendant, he was his son. And they just changed it from the son to descendant. But, it, but, it, so, but you gotta give him credit where credit is due. So, and then, so, saying that they were extremely dedicated, even though he persecuted them, but this was his duty as the, this was his duty as the, as the second Hokage. I mean, his job was to maintain the villages from the inside, from the outside, and, for particular for all friends from both inside and out, and he used the Uchiha to maintain order, even though there was, even though it deposed them from power. Uh, it's all about power. Uh, even though they were very strong, they were still a threat on the inside because he didn't want another traitor like Madara re 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 reemerging himself. Then you get the third, saying that he could, even though he inherited had the set, the first Okage's will of fire, he couldn't maintain the difference between the Uchiha. Uh, and the veterans of the village oh, so well. That's why you let all the dirty deeds go to Donzo. We all know Donzo and his crusty ass. I'm stealing this one from someone else. I'm ripping them off. I'm sorry for that. Hope you don't sue me. But and cr that Donzo, he was always the sneaky ass old bat ass to do all, who got what he wanted, did every dirty deed. See, from from slaughter to stealing away children to making them to raising them as as soldiers and. I mean, we've seen that before, and that's and then there's 
and then and then and then he says he fails that time and time again. He he was in the dirt Hokage. But then Minato comes rushing in, saying that's not true. You no, you had hopes for me, yes, Hokage, but I failed. If I hadn't died in the Nine Tails attack, like, maybe I would have settled things. I mean, if Minato had to died, there probably wouldn't even still be a village for the coup d'état to happen. Probably some of the Uchiha would probably be dead. Man, but since since the Uchiha shot him, now, could control, we all know that it was Tobi slash Obito slash Madra who was, you know, you know the masked man who controlled the Nine Tails. Can an Uchiha undo another Uchiha's Genjus is possible. But, hmm. Well, you gotta give it credit where credit is due. Oh, and then there's Sasuke hey, with his answer to this. He thinks about the past and he thinks about everything that happened. I, mean, he think, I like how they extended the episode with more cuts and more clips. They doing this with they did it with all the past episodes when Hashirama and Madara were kids, when when they were when they were fighting in the warfare. To the last episode when Madara ditched them, and then they have finally got peace. Please. That means it means that they're extending episodes because you see the chapters they were doing this they were all long they were all long chapters but they were like not enough to fill a complete episode so they had to put they had to use clips to fill in the gaps and also other extra footage like extra fighting and I love the creators for this because that means they're adding more material you know, and not just making it boring and short I mean hell it's a full episode that lasts any under 25 minutes so you don't want to see an episode that well, that's very much lame. That's very much a boring waste of your time. So, oh, and then there's Sasuke. His answer, like he, him and Itachi, his kids, always him brushing him off, and to the point where he, to the night where he killed his parents, and and to the and to the point where Itachi dies on the battlefield, um, die fighting in front of him. You know, in their epic battle, that to to him later knowing the truth that Itachi was. He was killed by killed his cat for the village, and to to him leaping to him in a bar wearing a robe. Uh, you know he's in disguise. He's really in disguise. He sees those people ditching Itachi, saying that that traitor got what he deserved. If he was still alive, I would kill him with my own hands. Like no, these guys couldn't even take on Itachi. Sasuke was stronger than all of them, and I saw how pissed he was. I, in the original manga, you know, Sasuke was so pissed he wanted to go over there and hurt them, but Orochimaru, you know. He stopped him from making his move. They didn't show that in the chat. They cut that scene out. Like it's like also what they did with the, the Shusui Kaguyo and um, Shusui being his son. So uh, it's like they're trying to like they're not trying to add more out of this, but they're trying to do their best to make it good, to make it seem good. You know, just for the best efforts. And, and then you got on the end. Then you got to the final end, got to the ending part, the final ending. And you got uh, when Itachi died, Itachi sacrificed himself to, un to a release the reanimation due to from Kabuto after he had to the Itanami. I mean, and then this, and then finally you got the epic part uh, where you got Sasuke's answer saying he's going to the battlefield. He's not gonna let the let his brother sacrifice go to waste. That's the epic moment. Has every and now everybody's ready to go fight. They go. Uh, but then there's the third Hokage, then he's still very hesitant of hate of Orochimaru and his actions, like, because he doesn't trust him. I mean, he tried to destroy the village, yeah, but then but then you got Orochimaru, but then Orochimaru, he's like very hesitant. But then you got Orochimaru saying, he's not like Kabuto. Unlike Kabuto who tried to copy me, he's not a copy of me. So basically he doesn't want to follow someone who tried to imitate him. And also because of curiosity. If it's curiosity you want, you, you still want his body, so that's my opinion. So, even though he has Hashirama, he wants Chiha blood too, so never forget who Hiroshimaru was. So, no, but then you got Jugo saying four, yeah, four, four uh, you got four super strong zombies, four, and, and three monsters. And, 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 and we all go over there, we'll, and we'll be dead for sure. Yeah, Ju like so he gets and so he's like nervous as hell. He doesn't want to deal with this crap. <laughs> he pretty much does not want to deal with this kind of crap. And he and he even tries to run away a little bit, only to get his ass kicked by Kadi. <laughs> we finally see Kadi after a good while. She kicks his ass. But I saw in the market she didn't kick his ass. She made she must threw a bucket at his head. <laughs> I like how she I like how she kicks his ass. It's a little hilarious. And he, and 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 then you got and then you got him. And saying, I sense you, Chuck. Way, saying, how dare you stab 
He, her freaking out. Yeah, I'm pissed at Sasuke. Uh, Sasuke and then, and then Sasuke says, sorry, Kari. And then she starts to flutter again. <laughs> I used to flutter again. <laughs> I said this in a comment to an anime reviewer. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Cutting is Rihanna, and Sasuke is Chris Brown. So, <laughs> those of you who think that's hilarious, give me a comment. <laughs> give me a like. <laughs> and I'm right. And as Sasuke said that, she tries to change her opinion. And then the Orochimaru you say, Mara Orochimaru saying, you always had a sweet, had a so, you always had a, had a soft spot for Sasuke, huh, Kari? Yeah, Orochimaru. Oh, that's not true, but then you got him cuddling all over Sasuke, and <laughs> we all know in the original manga, she, uh, she, uh, she, did, uh, she did, she did try to deny it, but mm, we all know that. And she was a little bit surprised in the manga about Orochimaru coming back, but she, but it's not, but they ignored that and they went straight to her, and they changed that, they went to straight to her, <laughs> hugging the crap out of Sasuke, and then you got Tobi Rama Hashimaru asking, who is this girl, judging from her chakra, she's from the Uchiha clan, that's a bit hilarious, <laughs> that is hilarious, but you gotta give it funny, you gotta give credit what credit is due, <laughs> and when, you guys see, you got the thing, thing another idiot joined the battlefield, no, Mara surely gonna be scared. <laughs> then you got the epic moment as Hashimaru said, My fellow Hokage, burn this image into your memory of the village. Right? And we head forth to battle. And then they all jump off, they all say what they need to say. Hey, Minato, Minato's, Minato's glad he's going to see his son again. Now he's going to come with a big surprise. Right? And, hope, and I couldn't do much for you as a father, you know, Naruto. Third Hokage, he was then like, Hey, it's been lost. It's my last war. Getting ready to fight. Hey, Madara, this time we will defeat you. Even though it was, even though it was this time we will defeat you in the manga, it was, it w in the manga it was this time I will defeat you, not we. So I mean him, because he never fought. He fought. He fought Madara, but he could never defeat him before. That was Hashirama, and then, and then there's, and then there's Hashirama himself. I was like, hey, hey, enough. Okay, games, let's get ready. And they all stand on their heads, and that epic music, music. One, another reviewer, Sionji7 in New Mexico, he's like, he did, he predicted that same music. That's ironic, he predicted the same kind of music in his previous video on the same manga as this episode, at the end of the episode was based on, the same end chapter. That's like a spooky coincidence, in a major way. I'm like, this dude was spot on, so I'm going to give that guy credit. Yeah, it's like 7 in New Mexico. I'm going to give that guy credit from now on, because, hell, he's done, this shit, he's done this review shit longer than me. Probably got a lot more than what I got. Now, anyway, you got the next episode. You got Mara making his happy face, his creepy happy face, because he knows what's coming. Hey, Mara's not an idiot, so. And then you got the word whole, no, and you got, oh, we told us, so and Kakashi doing their epic fight. Hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give away certain spoilers, but be, be aware of the next episode. I put the link down in the description. Which 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 do you like? The episode, my review, or my comment about uh, about Chris Brown, Rihanna, Kaying, and Sasuke? <laughs> that is still funny. So that is still funny. Hope to God nobody sues me for that. Hope you enjoyed that sponsor, Solomon Islands. Give you of Naruto chapters episodes. I built three seven zero. Hope you enjoy it. Come right. Bye.